But when a cow has feet like this, they're not the norm inside. The anatomy has changed and the bones have descended, which is why I have to take so much time and caution as I trim them. I need to constantly feel for how the foot feels and feel the length of each individual digit. In the background, I'm explaining to Stevie, the farmer and owner of these beautiful buffalo, that this cow has had some sort of episode in her life which has led to this corkscrew claw. You can see the base of the hoof I'm trimming right now is actually constructed of wall horn. It has rotated around the bone within the foot. In other words, the hoof horn is growing at the same orientation of the bone inside the foot, which is twisted. And that's why we've got such a huge overgrowth. The bone is not the same, the orientation is not the same, the anatomy is not the same, and therefore, my trimming is not the same either. Usually I would never dream of trimming around the front of an animal's hoof like I've just done, but in this case, this very special case, it's what's required. <laughs> 